sometimes it's so much better to laugh than to cry. I took her for her evaluation. It's called diagnosis, genius rejected. Anxious like a mother with a preschooler, hoping for entrance to nursery school, I sit next to my mother with a silent prayer. Please answer all the questions correctly, wisely. Mrs. Kapugawa, the diagnostician begins. What is your name? Where were you born? How many children do you have? Ah, oh, good, good. She's passing with flying colors. I keep my eyes on his chart checking to see that he marks the right column, noting pass, positive, normal. He upgrades his questioning to, Mrs. Kapugawa, you are at Las Vegas airport. You have lost the airline tickets and it's time to go home. You have only $3, what will you do? Without hesitation, my mother says, I'll put the money back in a slot machine, make plenty of money, and buy another ticket. <laughs> She's a genius! I'm applauding silently. I watch his pencil move to negative on her chart. Yes, she should have said, use a telephone and let E.T. call home. Her ingenuity has no place on this chart. Mrs. Kapugawa, he continues, you're walking down the street and you find a letter. It has an address and a stamp on. Tell me what you do with this letter. Once again, my genius in disguise answers. I check the address and deliver to the house. Of course she will. She knows all her neighbors. Another great step for her brain cells. Wrong. He marks negative on her chart. Increase her aricep. I walk my mother out, sadden the geniuses are off his chart. How did I do, she asks. Do I have to pay him? Do I have money? You did super good, I say. And no, you don't have to pay him. He should pay you. <laughs> and that's one of the symptoms. The finances become very important to people with beginning Alzheimer's. Also, I need to caution that often they select one person who's taking all their money. Many times this is a symptom. But be careful because sometimes someone is. So we cannot always say it's the dementia. We need to check out what they're telling us.